what's up guys learning with rich here in this video so let us now learn how to use selection tree window okay so we use the selection tree for us to be able to uh, select an object so that's one way of selecting objects in navisworks by using selection tree if you don't have the selection tree open let's say i close this one you can find it here so look for the home tab and then look for selection tree now we need a model here because as you can see our selection tree and our scene view is empty because we don't have models so that's why i'm going to append click that so i'm going to select the architecture hold shift and then i'll select structure to select the tree of the files make sure nwc file is selected here if you are going to use the sample files in navisworks which is located in uh, C program files, Autodesk, Navisworks, whatever version you are using. In my case, I'm using 25. And then look for samples folder, getting started. And then you should be able to see these three files there. So that NWC. Right? So let's open up. And it's now here on our selection tree architecture MEP and structure and then I now have here the model right okay so our selection tree here it is a dockable window okay which displays as you can see a variety of hierarchical views of the structure of the model as defined by the CAD application in which the model was created okay so this is that NWC file Right, so by default, there are options here if you click the drop down arrow on our selection tree. So we have the standard, so we have the compact, and then we have the properties. Okay, so let's play first with the standard. So when you say standard, it displays the default tree hierarchy, including all instancing. Okay, so if you click that one, the plus, for example, on our architecture, so you can see that's the main file and then you click the plus you can see the layers so that's the layers if you click the plus you can see now the object okay if you click the plus again sometimes you can now there is another layer that will pop up here or that will show here but in this case so i only have the main file layers object and then the instance okay so that's the instance there are some elements here that if you click the plus sign there is another plus sign that will come in but not in this one so yeah right so this is what i am talking about you see if i click this one so there's another plus sign here that one and then you just need to click that to show you the composite model or the instance model all right so that's the standard display all right so it displays the default so this is the default um, hierarchy or view for the standard on our selection tree so this hierarchy can be sorted alphabetically if you want so you can actually right click that and then there's a scene here and then you can select here sort you click that and then Navis works will tell you that you will not be able to undo this operation are you sure you want to sort the selection tree you can select yes okay so that's how you uh, sort your selection tree all right okay so as you can see it's now sorted okay so now that's the first one standard the next one is compact okay so if you click the compact you click compact here so you only have the main file you see you only have the main file and then the layer right so the main file and the layers so you can actually configure this one by going to the manage and then look for options and then after that you look for the interface selection and then you can select here compact trees so you can click that one so you can select by models so as you can see it's now changed here 
so it's set to models if i select here okay so now it's only set by model so there's no way for you to expand that so there's no plus icon here so let's go back again so let's select options all right so let's use layers which is what we have a while ago so there's a plus sign select okay here so the main file and then the layers right so let's go back again options and then by object so let's click that one let's select okay so let's expand let's say MEP so the main file the layers and then the objects so just like the standard right and then the last uh, options for your selection tree view is the properties you can click properties so now it's based on the property of your uh, model in in Navisworks so let's say you want it by level so you can see the properties level you can click that so you can see by elevation okay you can see the models here by elevation and then you can also select by type okay location but I don't use this in practice so I just use the standard viewing okay right so that is uh, that is for your selection tree now if you are going to select an object here on our scene view the selection tree will react to that one okay so like for example uh, let me just click one object okay so how about I uh, isolate the MEP okay so to isolate a file let's say MEP you only want to see MEP just right click and then after that you can select here hide unselected so what will happen it will hide the unselected elements so just click that one so okay so it's now showing only the MEP right so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to select an object here like for example this uh, fitting here okay so I'm going to click that and then right off the bat after you select the object Navisworks selection tree reacts to it and it highlights what is that particular object that you selected okay and then where is it so you can find it here on no level okay so no level and then which is this one okay you expand that again you can see that there is that instance model right so let's click this wall here so again so that is a partition so what level is that so you can find it on first floor okay so that's what happens by default when you select an object in uh, Navisworks but you can control this okay so you can, can uh, control the selection uh, resolution you can set the selection resolution so what is this selection resolution if you right click on your selection tree any part any part of your selection tree like for example I'll just right click somewhere here you can see here set selection resolution so you have several options to select so the first one is file set selection resolution to file so what happens is it makes the object path start at the file level okay so that's why as a result all objects at the current file level are selected so if I select this one okay and then I'm going to click outside okay if I click an object here I click that one so what will happen is it will select the whole model right so that's your selection resolution to file it makes the object path start at the file level okay so all of these elements included to that file level okay because you select your uh, selection resolution to file or you set it to file okay right so another option is right click again any part is set selection resolution to layer okay so I click outside here to deselect the object so what happens it makes the object path start at the layer node so let's say you want to see what layer is this one so let's click that so it tells you that it's on layer first floor 
Okay, so let's click outside. Let's minimize this. Okay, so let's say I'm going to click this one, uh, this floor. So I click this one. So that is on first floor layer. So how about this one? So that is on B2 basement layer. Okay, this one. So that is no level. So this one, so that is first floor. All right. So click that one. This one is no level. So basically, that is what happens when you set your selection resolution to layer. Now, another option, let's right click again, is set selection resolution to first object. So let's click that one and then let's click outside again. So what is first object? So it makes the object path start at the highest level of objects. Remember, this is the file. This is the layer. And then if you select the plus, this is already the first object. So that's the first object. Okay. So if you select here, set selection resolution to first object. So that is what will happen. It makes the object path start at the highest level of objects on our selection tree, just below the layer. This is the layer. So that's the highest object. Okay, right? Oh, let's try. So I'm going to click, for example, this door here. So it will select the highest level of objects just below the layer node. So because this is our layer node, so the next is your first object. Okay? Right. Okay, so let's click again this one. So that's the first object, galvanize. Now the other one is let's right click again is last object. Okay? So if we have first object, so we have last object. It makes the object path start at the lowest level of objects in the selection tree. Okay? So let's click this one. All right? And then click outside. All right. So let's click example this equipment so let's click that one all right so as you can see it selects the last object okay last object so let's click let's click that one click that one all right so let's right click last object all right so that's the last object because the next one, if you click that, that's already the composite. So there's another option for that, which is uh, set selection resolution to geometry. Okay. Right. So I'm going to select this wall here. So that's the last object. Click. So that's the last object. Why? Because if you click the plus, that's already your composite model so that's already the geometry which is we haven't selected that option yet so currently we are selecting the last object okay so let's uh click this one here okay so that's the last object because if you click the plus that's already the model okay the composite model or the instance model let's click All right so that's the last object Again, if you click that, you can now see the model here. So let's right click. Let's use the geometry. Okay, geometry. So this is a good example here. So we have the file and then we have the layer and then we have the first object and then we have the last object and then we now have the geometry. Okay, because some of the families here. Okay. They don't have the last object. So let's try this one. Okay, just like uh, this one is good. So we have the first object, last object, and then the geometry. So let's look for other elements here. So how, how about the takeoff? Okay, so it's the same. So we have the first object, last object, and then geometry. All right, so we selected here. Uh, set selection resolution to geometry. So that's the last. So that's the last. So let's click one object. Let's click that one. Okay. So you see that's the last one. Geometry. So what's that? Geometry. Okay. So that one. So that's geometry. All right. So geometry. 
Alright, so if you want to see the property of that, you can turn on the properties by selecting properties here. Okay, you can click outside. From the home tab, you can see properties. Okay, so properties, let me select that one. So there's the properties. Let's expand this a little so we can see the property. So let's click this door. So you can, you can see here the property of that one. Okay, it says you the layer, the source file, the material. You can go to other tabs as well. Grab it materials. All right. In case you want to see the property of that object. Okay. Actually, there's another option here, Quick Properties. Let's close this one. Okay, so that's Quick Properties. Let's just use the properties so I can see the window here. Okay, you click, you click, you click. It changed the property and then our selection is set to Geometry. Okay, so again, you can control it. So it's up to you. How do you want to select your objects on your selection tree? So do you want it by layer? So you can click by layer and then you can click the object. So you will know what's the layer of that. So by layer or right click uh, first object. Okay, so first object, first object. Okay, so in my case, I just use here last object. So I like last object and then you can also turn on the quick properties okay quick properties is that it shows you the property when you hover your pointer to the object right now there is no property whenever I hover my pointer like that right there's no property but if you click the quick properties and then you hover your pointer it tells you what's the property of that just a quick property of course, if you want to see the complete property, you can just turn on the properties here and then you can see the properties there. Okay. So that's how you use your selection tree. Okay. So you can click this one if you want to compress again your files or your views. Okay. So let us unhide this one. Let's unhide. Okay. You see this icon here? So that's auto hide. If you click that, it will hide your selection tree if you're not using it. Okay. So if you click the selection tree and then let's say you click an object and then if you move back your pointer to your scene view, it will hide again. Just like that. Okay. So that's for your selection tree. Okay. So that's our selection tree. Let me now uh, pin this one. All right. Okay, so that's it for this simple exercise about selection tree. So hopefully you learned something from this video. Thank you for watching guys. Have a nice day.